Man, look at how shiny this coin is here. It does very much look like a silver coin, but is it? Let's see. Hello, coin enthusiasts out there. It is I, Dax Collects, and today what I have in front of me is half dollar box number six here on YouTube. It's been about two months since my last half dollar box hunt, but here we are. We have another half dollar box to open on the channel. Let's see if we can find any silver inside of these rolls. So halves to look out for are gonna be the Walking Liberty minted between 1916 to 1947, and a Benjamin Franklin half dollars minted between 1948 to 1963, and a Silver Kennedy half dollars minted between 1964 to 1970, and any NIFCs for the collection books, and any proofs, and anything for the books, as well as any errors and or varieties that I can possibly find inside of these rolls. And that's pretty much it. And if you haven't seen my last half dollar box video, I'll put the link right up here. So you can go ahead and watch that one before you watch this one. Now let's not waste any more time. I'm always excited to go through a half dollar box with you guys. Let's open this box up and check out those enders. All right. And here they are. There's a total of 1,000 half dollars inside of this box. I'm gonna go ahead and check these enders and I'll be right back to let you know if I find anything that stand out from the rest. I have just checked all of the enders and there's gonna be one that stands out. Inside of roll number 27, this one is a 2016 Denver NIFC. Now I just wanna point this out. There's no added value for these coins. They're barely over 50 cents as it is. I'm only hunting the NIFCs for the books. I do not plan on keeping any NIFCs if I already have them in my collection book. So now let's go ahead and get started with half dollar box number six and see what I can find inside of these rolls. And as usual for my one box hunts, I'll open these first five rolls with you guys, see what I can find. Then after the five roll recap, I'll open the first half of this box. Then once that's done, I'll provide you guys a first half box recap. Then we'll open the second half of the box. And then once that's done, I'll provide you guys with a second half box recap, followed by a full box recap at the end, going over all the finds of the box. So with that being said, let's get right into it. First NIFC on the board, 2020 Kennedy Half Dollar, minted in Philadelphia. NIFC number two, 2003, minted in Philadelphia. Third NIFC of the box, 2002, minted in Denver. NIFC number four, 
2017, minted in Denver. All right, here is all I found after the first five rolls of half dollar box number six. I found a total of four NIFCs so far. We'll see if any of these half dollars are gonna be additions for the collection book later in the video. And now let's go ahead and get started with the first half of this box. I'll open up the next 20 rolls of the box. Whenever I find something inside of a roll, I'll bring the camera back in and I'll show you guys what roll I'm currently on and what the find is. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Currently on roll number eight, and I have C number five. This is my second 2003 NIFC minted in Philadelphia. Currently on roll number 11 and I have C number six. 2004 minted in Denver. Currently on roll number 13 and I have C number seven. Was not expecting to find this. 1987 minted in Denver. Fun fact, it's easier to find a 1987 San Francisco than it is a Philadelphia and Denver 1987. Let me rephrase that. So what I meant to say was the mintage number for the 1987 San Francisco half dollar is actually higher than the 1987 Philadelphia and Denver minted half dollars. So it's pretty interesting. I shouldn't have said it's easier to find a 1987 San Francisco. I'm sure it's about as difficult as a 1987 Denver and Philadelphia, but just wanted to clarify that. The mintage for the 1987 Philadelphia and Denver was 2.8 million, while the 1987 San Francisco, which is a proof coin, they minted 4.2 million. Let's keep on going. Currently on roll number 15, and I have C number 8. This is my second 2017 minted in Denver. If I find any NIFCs twice, then I won't show them again. I'll just go straight to the box, keep on opening the rolls up, and I'll let you know if I find any different NIFCs that I find. Currently on roll number 22. Man, look at how shiny this coin is here. It does very much look like a silver coin, but is it? Let's see. Nineteen sixty five. This will be an addition to my collection book. Very nice. And that is silver number one of the box. Let's see if we can find any more. I am still on roll number 22 and I have C number nine. 2011 minted in Philadelphia. If I don't find anything else, in these next three rolls, I'll go ahead and start the first half box recap in just a bit. Just finished the first half of half dollar box number six. Let's go ahead and do a first half box recap right now. So let's set this aside and let me show you guys what I found in the first half. And here they are. Let's go over them real quick. I found one silver Kennedy half dollar from the year 1965, found one NIFC from the year 1987, minted in Denver. Found four NIFCs from the 2000s, three NIFCs from the 2010s, and one NIFC from the year 2020, minted in Philadelphia. I am very happy with this start here. One silver half is always amazing. That makes up the whole box for me, just like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and get started with these next 25 rolls and see what I can find inside each and every one of them. 
So with that being said, let's get right into it. Currently on roll number 27, and I have C number 10. And it's a different one this time. 2016, minted in Denver. Currently on roll number 30, and I want to show you guys this one right here. It looks like someone just signed this half dollar. I have no idea who that is. It definitely looks like someone's signature. Just something I wanted to share with you guys. Nothing too crazy about this one. Currently on roll number 32, and I have seen number 11. Here it is. It's a 2008 Kennedy half dollar minted in Denver. Next roll, roll number 33, and I have seen number 12. 2009 minted in Denver. Next roll, roll number 34, and I have seen number 13. This is my second 2011 minted in Philadelphia. I am currently on roll number 41, and I have seen number 15. I did skip the previous one because it was my third one of a certain year in mint. So this is number 15. This is my second 2016 minted in Denver. I won't show you guys any more of these 2016 Denvers if I encounter any more of them. Currently on roll number 50 and I have seen number 16, 2009 minted in Philadelphia. All right, if I don't find anything else in this roll, I'll go ahead and start the second half box recap in just a bit. Just finished half dollar box number six. Let's go ahead and do a second half box recap right now. So let's set this aside and let me show you guys what I found in the second half. And here they are. Let's go over them real quick. I found four NIFCs from the 2000s, three NIFCs from the 2010s, and then one oddity half dollar right here. And that's pretty much it. So nothing too spectacular in this half. We'll check all these NIFCs later in the video to see if they're gonna be any additions for that collection book. And now it's time to go ahead and bring down all the finds of half dollar box number six and do a full box recap. And here are all my finds of half dollar box number six. We did not get skunked, we almost did, but we did find one silver half dollar inside this box and it's one I'd never had before and that is great. So we will fill that into the collection book later in the video. So now let's go ahead and get started with the collection books. We'll start with this one right here first. Kennedy Half Dollars Collection Book number three. And let's open this book up and I'll show you guys what I have in here so far before Half Dollar Box number six. Starting to build an NIFC collection. I have been starting this since the beginning of my channel. If you guys didn't know, my very first video on the channel was a half dollar box unboxing video. It was my very first half dollar box unboxing that I've ever done in my life, as opposed to the smaller denominations, which I have done a couple before I started YouTube. And now I am already here at this point. I've opened six half dollar boxes in a span of roughly eight months. So that's crazy. And now I'm gonna go ahead and check all these NIFCs I'll look for any additions and or upgrades for the collection book. So I'll be right back once I am ready to plug these NIFCs in. All right, and after looking at some of the NIFCs that I found in this box, there will be no additions, but I will have a total of four upgrades for the collection book. Let's go ahead and plug these half dollars in to the collection book. And I'll actually just fast forward this here while I'm plugging them in. So. Let's get started. All 
All right, and there we go. And now after going through half dollar box number six, this is what my Kennedy half dollars collection book number three looks like right now. Happy to find upgrades for this book. I still like to find the rest of these NIFCs out there in circulation. Try to complete this book here. Now let's go ahead and close this book. Next up, Kennedy Half Dollars Collection Book Number Two. This is an exciting time here, folks, because we are going to complete this collection book in this video after six half dollar boxes. That's amazing because we did find a 1987 Denver and we also found three 2003 Philadelphia half dollars. And we already have the 2002 Denver that I found as well. But let's see if that'll upgrade. Oh yeah, that'll upgrade a little bit. All right, there we go. Let's just do it the same format I did with the last collection book. Let's just plug them in now. All right, cue that beautiful music. Now every time I complete a collection book, I will play a little tune, and that will basically signify that I completed a collection book. It's a very good feeling, guys. It's a very good feeling. So now after going through half dollar box number six, this is what my Kennedy half dollars collection book number two looks like right now. Kennedy Half Dollar Collection Book Number 2, complete. And now that I'm all done with this collection book, from here on out in my next hunts, I'll go ahead and skip these. Let me know in the comments if you want me to purchase another one of these collection books and start all over. If you guys have enough interest for that, I will happily buy another book and start over. And now, let's go ahead and close this book. And finally, Kennedy Half Dollars Collection Book Number One. This is what it looks like so far before Half Dollar Box Number Six. And we did find a 1965 Silver Half Dollar. So let's go ahead and plug in this 1965 into the collection book. And there we go. So now I am only missing the NIFC 1970 Denver Silver Kennedy Half Dollar. It says issued only in mint sets, but I have seen people actually find them in circulation and that's going to be a very tough task but for the most part it's basically complete and now after going through half dollar box number six this is what my kennedy half dollars collection book number one looks like right now kennedy half dollar collection book number one complete very happy with the addition the chances of me finding a 1970 Denver out there in circulation is very, very slim. Now let's go ahead and close this book. The rest of these NIFCs, I'm going to throw back into the jar. I'm not going to keep them. And now, if you can see to the right, I have all of these. It's gonna be a mess. Look at this, guys. These are all Kennedy half dollars 
minted between the years 1971 through 1977. I am going to check each and every one of these for DDOs and DDRs. And the one resource I always use to look for those is through VarietyVista.com. It basically has a comprehensive list of all the half dollars or any of the denominations that have DDOs and DDRs that you can check through that website. So it's a very, very helpful resource for error and variety checking. And now I'm going to go ahead and start hunting for those errors and varieties now. And if I find any of them with an error and or variety, I'll let you guys know. And if not, then I'll conclude the video right here. So if you guys like this video, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you want and subscribe if you want as well. As I go through more coin boxes with you guys and see what I can find. I always have a blast going through half dollar boxes with you. It's one of my favorite denominations to hunt. Even if the silver out there is very difficult to find in circulation. Most of the time, hunters won't find silver in a box. But if you do it enough times, there will be a silver inside. It's all about that dedication. I have been doing this for literally nine months now. And it's been an absolute blast. Every hunt is very meaningful to me. That's why I love sharing these videos. I get my inspiration from other YouTubers on this platform that have done this for years. And I've always wanted to do this. And now, here we are. I am absolutely dedicated to this hobby. And we're just going to keep on grinding. We're going to hunt those boxes, find some new coins out there in circulation, and have a good time doing it. And I hope you guys have found some entertainment while hunting with me. Let me know in the comments. If you have any silver half dollars in your possession that you would like to share, I would love to hear what you guys have in your collection. And now I'm going to go ahead and start signing off. So thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Dax Collects. And I'll catch you guys on the flip. Good luck hunting everyone. And have a good one. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to check out my other video, click on the bottom left of the screen.